of Corporal Richard A. Schultz, Sheriff's Office. To start off, I'd like to thank all the board members for the service you do to your districts and your community. The time you put into your roles as a governing body is very appreciated uh, because of the hard decisions you all have to make. One of those decisions will have a large impact either way on Sheriff Stephanie's families. It's decision, its decision on potential raises of our salaries. I was very optimistic and also realistic when I was made aware that the sheriff had raises into his budget, allowing an annual raise to his deputy salaries of $1,500. Optimistic because the county usually supports the sheriff's office when it comes when it comes to things that we've asked for within reason, such as funding the dare, school resource officers, the radio system which you all talked about a second ago. Uh, but that is money that's a benefit to the community and uh, also our livelihoods out here on the streets. <clears throat> I was realistic. Now I was realistic because I had heard Mr. Lanford attempted to barter a deal that would take away most of our second vacation time that we've accrued in exchange for that raise. It was at that point I faced the realization that it would be cut out quick. I was later made aware that the raises were expectedly cut out of the budget. The reason I was told was because one of the reasons was I was told is because he didn't think it was fair to give sheriff's deputies a raise and not give other constitutional officers a raise. I would argue we as sheriff's deputies have a very unique job. Unlike any other county employee, we work days, nights, evenings, and holidays. We get called out to murder scenes while eating pumpkin pie with whipped cream on Thanksgiving Day with our families. It's pretty specific. I know, it's because it's happened. I say this to make a couple points. Point number one, most county employees work normal all daylight hours, Monday through Friday unless they, get, they might get called out for something every once in a while. The sheriff's, the sheriff's office, we're always out. Every day, all day. Point number two, other county employees don't see or deal with what we have to deal with. And Sheriff Hall and also Major Carl elaborate on, on a lot of those situations. I don't say this to put our job on a pedestal or to make us seem more important or superior than any other person who works for this county. We're not. We're not better, we're just different. Uh, but I do feel that we deserve something in the form of a pay raise because of the added risk to our lives day in and day out. Most of us do this job because we love it. And to be quite honest, I'm one of them. I love this job. And we're not going to stop doing the job to the best of our ability if you decide not to give us these raises. The citizens of Allegheny County do not deserve to fall victim to county politics. They deserve uh, police protection. In closing, police officer line of duty deaths are at an all-time high. Now we're just getting assassinated just for doing what we do. It wasn't but a couple years ago in rural, rural Dinwiddie County, similar to Allegheny County, a uh, trooper was checking, was shot multiple times by a man with a high powered rifle. The trooper was just checking on a disabled vehicle. When the driver pulled out his gun, opened fire on the trooper, and the trooper hadn't even exited his car yet when he pulled up. When the man initially shot the trooper, the trooper pulled away in his car, hitting a tree. The assailant again walked up to the trooper's car and began shooting him again, killing him. The man had been on a job for close to 40 years. He was almost getting ready to retire. Another instance, two officers in Las Vegas were killed. They were just eating lunch, and they were just assassinated. We still hear the old cliche, this only happens in big cities. That's not true anymore. It's happening all over rural America, and God willing, we hope and pray it will never happen here. When the board makes the decision whether or not to give us raises, please take into consideration the added risk our lives are put into on a daily basis. Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Anyone else? Uh, I'm Lieutenant uh, Dan Leonard. I came to this county 16 years ago. I started my law enforcement career in Richmond City, uh, so I got a combined thing for 22 years. Uh, my nephew, his name was Zach Larner, started his uh, law enforcement career here at the Allegheny County Sheriff's Office uh, when he's uh, moved to Tennessee to be with his dad. His dad's a police of Chile, uh, chief of police down there. Uh, he's 26 years old and uh, he passed away last year, 2016, from uh, going to a domestic call. And that really touches my heart. Uh, so I just want you guys to realize that, you know, it, it does happen under police house, but it can happen right here and it happened to me uh, so I'd just like for you all to keep that in mind thank you my name is Corporal Curry I've worked at the sheriff's office since 2008 
Sheriff's office means a lot to me. It's been a big part of my life. I want us to be the best that we can be, and it's hard for us to get good applicants if we have nothing to offer them when they can go across the street and make five grand more. And also, I, I, I'd like to put in there also the cost that it costs us to lose officers, not just their experience, but the cost to retrain people to take their job, the cost to send them to the academy to pay for their fuel, their food, the cost to pay somebody else to do their job while they're not there because they can't be. We've lost so many people since I've been there because they want to go somewhere else and make more money. And I hate to see it because they're good people and they know this job well. And you can't replace a lot of experience as much as you can a person to fill the job. I know the, the radios are very important to us and we need that. But without the good people here to do the job, the radios mean nothing. We have to have good people to do the job. Um, I just want y'all to take, you know, just not just the, the face value of the cost of us getting raised to keep people here, but also the cost for us to really, to lose people also in your thoughts when you think about giving us this. Because in the long run, it's going to save money for not losing our guys. Thank you. Thank you. Live at 111 Maple Lane. Call many of these gentlemen, fine gentlemen my friends. Um, I find it appalling <coughs> that we're debating $97,500. That's what they've asked for. 65 people, $1,500, $97,500. And you're debating it. These people, these fine men and women put their lives on the line for you and me. And we're debating $97,500. You should be ashamed. We're not debating.